Revenge Films. The other day, I had to go into work over the weekend. For lunch, I went to this pasta joint near the workplace. It wasn't as crowded as before, probably because of COVID. But there was still a line when I got there. After I got seated, I started looking at the menu. Then, someone came up to me and said, Excuse me. I turned around and saw two women wearing flashy outfits. They were probably in their 30s or 40s. Yes, I replied. Are you alone? If you don't mind, can we share a table? Sure, I said. I was using a table for four by myself, and there were no other seats open, so I said yes. But they had a lot of perfume on, so honestly I didn't want to share a table. But this was downtown. These things happen, I guess. I decided what to order, so I called the waiter over. Then one of the women said, We're ready to order too. Can we order with you? Sure, I said. They just got here. But I guess they come here all the time or something, I thought. Then the waiter got to the table. The women ordered before me. I was kind of annoyed since I called the waiter first, but I didn't say anything. I placed my order after them. Oh, and they ordered so much food. I was pretty surprised. Pasta, pizza, garlic bread, steak, fries, and some chicken nuggets to go. Are they really going to eat all that? I was kind of worried. And when the food arrived, they started shoving it down their mouth at lightning speed. I felt like I was watching one of those hot dog eating contests on TV. They finished eating within five minutes. I didn't know what to say to them. People from other tables were watching too. Then they stood up and said, All right, let's go. They walked towards the register and left the restaurant. They must have been in a hurry or something. I didn't think much of it at the time. About five minutes later, I finished eating too, so I went to the register to pay. I placed a $10 bill on the tray, waiting for my change. I had the pasta plate and the salad, so $10 was more than enough. I was waiting for my change, but the clerk just stood there staring at me. I asked him, um, can I get my change? He replied, huh, change? Uh, yeah, I replied. The clerk looked at the register, so I took a look. What the? The total was $40. It was way too expensive. Um, I think you got the wrong table or something, I said. Your friends, they haven't paid yet, he replied. I had no idea what he was talking about. I came here alone, I said. But the two ladies you were with, they said that you'll get the tab, said the clerk. What? I'm not with them. They just asked me if they could share the table because the place is full. I replied. But you guys ordered at the same time. What? But that's because... <sighs> we went back and forth like this for a while. Then the waitress who seated me came over and said... He was alone when he came in. Finally, he believed me, so I only had to pay for my own food. But everyone there saw what was happening. Dine and ditch! It's a new form of scam. What a bunch of con artists. And the guy at the register still seemed pissed. And so was I. I didn't do anything wrong. After paying my bill, I gave him my business card. Look, I've got nothing to hide. If you're still not satisfied, you can find me here. Then, I left the restaurant. On my way back, I found the two women who sat at my table smoking in front of the station. They had the chicken nuggets they ordered to go. I approached them quietly from behind. That was so good. It was easier than I thought. Plus, we got some extra food to go. Free dinner. They were talking about the free food they got. I couldn't take it anymore. I jumped out in front of them and said, That's enough, you two. Go back to the store now. Hey up. They started laughing at me. What's wrong with this guy? Then. Hey, we ate with you. We kept you company. That costs money, you know. I snapped. Shut up, bitch. Why the hell would I want to eat with you two, huh? Then, a police officer showed up. When they saw him, they threw a $10 bill at me and ran to the officer, saying, Help, officer! This guy is crazy! He's trying to hurt us! Then they tried to run. I snapped again. The police tried to grab me, but I grabbed them before they could make a run for it. What? We already paid. Let go. $10? That's not enough. 
You guys dine and ditched. We're going back to the restaurant right now. I explained things to the officer and he helped me take them back to the restaurant. The manager explained what happened to the officer. He apologized to me. The two had no choice but to pay up. They looked upset. After paying, they tried to leave without saying anything. Hey, you're not even gonna apologize? I yelled at them. What? Ugh, you're so annoying. She snapped back at me. Looks like you two haven't learned your lesson. I can't just let you guys go. You might do the same thing again. I guess I'll have to arrest you both, said the police officer. Finally, the two started apologizing. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Please, we'll never do it again. Don't apologize to me, said the officer. They ran back to me, got on their knees, and apologized. Please forgive us. We're sorry. You've been doing this for a while, right? No way that was your first time, I asked them. No, this is our first time. Honest. They replied. Really? You guys memorized the menu and even ordered some food to go. Stop lying. You've done this before, haven't you? I replied. Then one of them cracked. We looked up how to dine and ditch online. It said that we had to order at the same time, so we decided what to order beforehand. Why though? Asked the police officer. With COVID and all, business has been really bad, and I barely make any money these days. And I was broke and so hungry. I had no choice. Then she started crying. Looks like you got money to buy cigarettes, though, I replied. We're sorry. We're so sorry. We won't buy any more cigarettes. We're sorry. They just kept apologizing. The police officer let them off with a warning since they paid their bill. Finally, they left the restaurant. They were still apologizing as they left. I was feeling much better now. I decided to go back to work. I felt bad for the restaurant. It didn't deserve all this trouble. Then, I reached into my pocket and found the $10 bill they threw at me. I decided to keep it for all the trouble. I threw it into the donation box at the convenience store near my company. The store staff looked surprised. I guess you don't see a lot of people throwing $10 bills in donation boxes. Anyways, people these days, right? Unbelievable. I'm gonna stay away from downtown for a while. How was today's video? If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Stay tuned for more.